Good morning, everybody. Is it on? Yes. Hey guys, uh, what's up? It is uh, day number three. It is the third day already. Morning number three. We already opened a gift um, from Miss Hannah Newsbaum. Thank you very much. Thank you for I the tremex we'll and the uh, Swedish fish. I personal favorite Swedish fish. So I thank think you. we'll enjoy that very much. So thank you. We are heading off to Granville, Michigan, to see Rob Bell and um, get our weekly dose and so we will uh, yep cast later to you all right happy Palm Sunday well here we go uh, this is at Mars Hill just an awesome place I I was astounded at how much stuff there was I really liked about this place it was cool God is green love everyone recycled uh, booklets and pamphlets it was awesome Okay, this is uh, this is the Mayor May House, um, and uh, it was located uh, in uh, in Grand Rapids on another street near the church, um, and uh, some of the outside architecture you see, uh, and um, this was a copper repainted. All this stuff was uh, re refinished and uh, refurbished after it was. Uh, like almost destroyed, but yeah, go ahead. Uh, the red bricks uh, lead you to the house, and around the house are where the um, this is especially cool. This was a mortar that had to be uh, varied in color because Frank Lloyd Wright wanted specific horizontal yeah. lines. So the vertical lines were the same color as the bricks to make it look like one um, horizontal plane, which is pretty sweet. Then this is a uh, living room, and the amazing uh, overhead stained glass windows just all around the front of this living room on the east side to let the light in. Uh, big space, um, lots of light. This is probably the 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 most uh, captivating room I've I've ever seen before. Yeah, um, it was absolutely it was absolutely great. It was well, it was gorgeous. Um, here's a cool mural that they were able to restore, and um, this is a place where guests would put their coats and such. Um, this was awesome. You enter the uh, home and it's super dark, and that's what he wanted to dark, and then you get into a big space. Um, this is uh, the kitchen table. Just awesome. Um, just look at the lamps on the ends. It was really um, built to make it uncomfortable for the kids, almost, they would say, um, so that, you know, um, attention would be on the head of the household. More of the windows in the kitchen. Uh, this is our sink. Pretty cool little overflow device there I um, hadn't seen before. Um, There's just... another shot into the living room from the uh, dining room. Um, this is some more of that... Uh, that stained glass window style that Frank Lloyd Wright had. This is going upstairs. Um, some more carpet that was the original carpet that they found out, but they had to redo it all. So, but they redid it completely in the original style. Uh, more of the similar windows. Um, a uh, shower that you could control the temperature even during that time. A really crazy toilet, uh, which was really essential to this. Um, and uh, just some more of that window style. Ups oh, was that upstairs? Yeah, yeah that was a master bedroom looking out Ooh, into the street. These are the uh, ribbon, ribboned windows, they call them, because they ran along all the rooms, just uh, 10 or 15 just windows all around the corners. He really wanted to evade corners. And this is um, some padded painted walls. They took two paints and tapped them on the wall to create that color. Yeah, and the, the, whole, the whole idea was to make the building look very horizontal. That was the reason for the windows that constantly went on. Tour guide, tour guide was named Donna. Um, and then the other two were Joan and uh, Beatrice, who was uh, French. They were um, very nice people. Real, they gave us a free DVD, which I'm going to donate to CBA, uh, about the restoration of this uh, house that was created to look like it was in 1910. Uh, we learned a lot about this house. It was really awesome. We didn't think we were going to get to tour it, so it was a really pleasant surprise. So next we went headed off to... Um, oh, there's my nerdy driving. Um, and we headed off to uh, see Grandma... Hannah News Charlie, grandma. this is for you. It, it appears to be in the shape of, of a big boy. <laughs> yeah, that uh, also appears to be in the shape of a big boy. Look at Kevin. We didn't actually eat there. Don't worry. That's uh, also a big boy. And then here's us with um, the hospitality we had. Ladies and gentlemen, it's day three. And uh, and we, here we are at the end of our journey on day three. Uh, it's been a long day full of a lot of driving. But um, one specific really cool, um, cool house that we got to tour and a special... A special little church that we got to go to, um, I'm sure you guys know it, called Mars Hill Church, but we'll be talking about that later. Um, here we are now at um, at Hannah's grandmother's house, so Hannah, you will be able to see the whole family. Here we go. To my right. Oh, well, hello there, Hannah. 
to your lovely grandmother. <laughs> well, this is nice to have the boys here for the evening. And having a good time together. <laughs> okay. okay. Here we go to your uncle. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How you doing? Yeah, this is great having them come stop in. Well, we're very thankful um, for them to let us stay here. Uh, food and lodging, so. Tripping with my two favorite allies Fully loaded, we got snacks and supplies It's time to leave this town, it's time to steal away Let's go get lost anywhere in the USA Let's go get lost, let's go get lost Blue, you sit so pretty west of the one Sparkle light with yellow icing Just a mirror for the sun Just a mirror for the sun Just a mirror for the sun <laughs> These smiling eyes are just a mirror for So much has come before Those battles lost and won Life is shining more forever in the sun Now let us check our heads and let us check the surf Staying high and drives more trouble than it's worth in the sun Just a mirror for the sun Just a mirror for the sun 